Hey y'all, now I'm gonna show you how to make our honey garlic crock pot chicken and Brussels sprout dish. So I've already placed four uh, chicken thighs in my crock pot. By the way, you can use chicken breast if you'd prefer or whatever cut of chicken that you like. Um, I've got probably about three cups of Brussels sprouts, halved, cut into halves. Put them in there. And then I've got a cup of carrots. I'm gonna use that bowl again. And you're just gonna set that aside. I've already turned my crock pot on low. And then you're gonna make the amazing honey garlic sauce. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your garlic cloves minced. Oops, don't drop it in. Now my hands are just all really garlicky after this. I am not going to show you how to do it, but I will tell you, there's a little trick that we've shared before under our tip, kitchen tips um, on our Facebook page that basically what you can do is once you've handled garlic, fresh garlic, before you even wash your hands, just take them and rub them in a stainless steel sink. And I'm telling you, it's amazing. It really will remove the garlic smell from your hands. I don't know how it's possible, but it does. So you've got your garlic in here. Then you're going to take a third of a cup of honey. Actually, let's wait and put that in last, just because I don't want it to sit on the bottom. So I'm going to take a half of a cup of organic ketchup. Half of a cup of low sodium soy sauce. Then we're gonna do half of a teaspoon of dried oregano, and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and a fourth of a teaspoon of crushed red peppers. And then we'll go ahead and put our honey in, just because if you put that in first, a lot of times it'll sit on the bottom and you'll lose a lot of the sweetness that you wanted once you poured it into your dish. Okay, so, got everything in there, and you're gonna whisk. Don't put it on yourself, I should probably wear an apron. And you're just gonna mix that up until it's nice and combined. Now I have sesame seeds, but we're going to use those, you're going to use those at the end during the last hour of cooking. And scallions, chopped scallions as well. We'll put both the sesame seeds and the scallions in the crock pot for the last hour that it's cooking. All right. I believe that is mixed. So you're going to make that mixture and just pour it over top of your veggies and your chicken. Again, I always use a spatula because it gets everything out of the bowl. This one's a little small, but it's okay. All right. All right, and that is poured over top of our veggies and our chicken. And I'm just gonna mix it around a little bit, leave, leaving the chicken on the bottom, but um, just to make sure it gets covered. Now it's pretty thick, but it will get some more moisture in there as it cooks. All right, that's gonna be awesome. You put your lid on, like I said, I have it on low, and then you're gonna place this on the, um, in the crock pot and cook on low for six to seven hours. And if you're gonna do it on high, you're gonna to wanna to do four to five hours. Again, for the last hour of cooking, take about a half of a tablespoon of sesame seeds, and I did about a fourth of a cup of scallions over the top. Um, and then basically just take it out and serve and you have your dish ready to go. An amazing, healthy, clean, delicious dinner. Check it out on www.cleaneats101.com under recipes and y'all enjoy.